All right, we're three days out to the Diamond Cup, the Elite Diamond Cup here in Vancouver, British Columbia, where I will be competing in physique and hopefully classic physique. We're just trying to figure that out. And um, yeah, I did my morning walk, got it done. Um, burned a little over 400 calories. I actually had a friend over yesterday and he suggested I put on some of those five pound foot weights just to help me, uh, you know, get my calorie burn up. I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try. It took a little bit of getting used to, but um, after a bit, body kind of got used to the extra weight on the on the legs there and the ankles, and uh, it was good. Burned a little bit more. I'd say maybe 25 calories per mile more. So if you do six miles in a day, that's 150 calories that you didn't wouldn't have burnt. Uh, and it really wasn't terrible using the weights. Uh, they were pretty comfortable. So right now we've got breakfast, or cottage cheese, with some of that 15 calorie fruit cup stuff in it my espresso with basically no sugar and uh, I did have we walked my wife and I we walked to Tim Hortons this morning and I wasn't gonna have anything because it's really not on my food menu at this point but I was able to finagle my food macros today to allow me to have a chocolate dip donut they're 190 calories lots of carbs in them um, but I am carving up starting to carb up today so I was able to kind of work it in, um, you know, a little bit more carbs in the morning than I was planning. I was planning on doing more in the evening. I'm going to take a little bit out in the evening, but it'll average out okay for the day. And it's just a little bit more than I normally would have in the morning. And man, was it good. So uh, at the end of the day, it should all work out about the same anyways. So we're okay. So next up is a little bit of work, shower. Uh, a spray tan, my first coat of spray tan today. Just It's just this, the tan that I use that sort of gets into the skin, darkens up the skin a little bit. I do two of those, and then I do my bronzer on top for the show, which is like the topical tan. With it. That's the one that actually comes out, comes right off when you wash it off. The other one goes right in the skin. It kind of stays in the skin for a while. So workout, I'm just going to get my workout done. I don't care how many calories I burn. I'm just going to get the actual work done, get the muscles trained and whatever the calories are is what it's going to be and then maybe afterwards i'll do a little elliptical or something or go for another walk just to burn the extra stuff that i need to and then tonight another walk so if we can get 2,000 calories in <laughs> lots of fun you're going to eat a little bit more today got some carbs coming in at dinner and, and this evening so a little bit more calories but still should be in a pretty good calorie deficit for the day all right that's it for this one All right, it's dinner time again, biggest meal of the day. This one's a little bigger and a lot more carbs, starting to carb up. It's really the first carbs I've had in a while. Um, I've got some fish. There's actually one piece of haddock and one ahi tuna because I had a leftover ahi tuna. And then I have two packets of oatmeal, cinnamon, oatmeal, cinnamon, <clears throat> what is it? Cinnamon apple, apple cinnamon. Uh, a couple rice cakes with PB2 and jam, a couple Crumpets, English crumpets with PB2 and jam and my sugar-free drink. All in all, it's about just under 800 calories, so it is a bigger meal than usual, but I'm starting to carb up. That's what happens. 60 grams of protein, 120 grams of carbs, and I think 6 grams of fats because that PB2 peanut butter is really low fat. It's only like for all of that peanut butter was 60 calories, and then I only have 2 tablespoons of jam. I just spread it out pretty thin. Make it, you know, kind of cover things as much as possible, not use too much jam. Or peanut butter. I'm gonna enjoy this. You can see them cool ankle weights that are helping me get more calories. All right, so just trying to burn the calories. Lots of fun. Got to burn 450 more. Get to 2,000. I might have to send them home and walk the rest on my own. We'll see. Anyways. The struggle's real. It's so real. We have a little fire going on right here. Went for a huge walk, three and a half miles. But it was a tough one. It was, uh, well, I've got video of it, me wearing my little leg weights. We ended up going quite a ways. And so now we're home. Are you sure it's only three and a half miles? It was three and a half miles, yeah. And I got my little. You can maybe see this. This is a propane 
bottle that's been converted into like a little wood stove. So you can see it's got the exit hole in the top there. And then I've got this guy. And you can open it up. It's like a little, oh, wood stove, that's hot. Oh, it's got wood, but it's still hot. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, it just keeps all the flame and everything in there and all the heat radiates super nice around it. So you can just burn wood in there and it's efficient and generates a lot of heat, it's kind of nice. It's not really cold tonight, but it's cooling down, so this just keeps us warm. Well, Nicole drinks her glass of wine. It's Empty pretty much wine. gone now, yeah. We're just chilling by the fire. A night well done. Okay, so day three of the cutting, and I think three days out now. And so this was the third day this week of the hard cutting on the last workout today uh, it's all done so got my exercise in got my calories burned hit my food for the most part uh, what I needed to hit in terms of calories and macros so what did it all look like well it was a little higher food day calorie day because of the because of the carbs so it was about 22 or 2300 calories today a little bit higher um, th just over 300 grams of carbs, just under 200 grams of protein. Protein comes down a bit just because you can't eat as much. I mean, you just can't have protein and carbs. It just starts to get a little bit out of, out of control, too many calories. And fats were still pretty low, 35 grams, I believe. Um, let me just pull this back here. Okay, got some veins coming out, eh? Yeah, so carbs are kicking in, <laughs> getting lean too, so... Everything's getting lean. <laughs> Started to lean out pretty good here. Um, what else was going on? So, not too bad. Eating was exactly where I was shooting for. In terms of exercise, I did 26,000 steps, almost five and a half hours of activity, about eight and a half um, miles of walking. Let me put this down here. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, was about an hour and a half, I believe, of weight training, which only really got me about 700 calories. The rest of the calories, which was about almost 2,100 calories, was all was a lot of walking today, a lot of walking. So um, tomorrow will be um, all my calories that I'm going to burn are going to be either walking or posing, and the carbs are going to go up a bit more, so there's going to be less of a calorie deficit tomorrow. It's just what happens. That's why these three days that just happened are so important because they're the go-to days where I really get into a calorie deficit and just get rid of as much fat as possible. And then the next two days are going to be less of calorie deficit, but a little bit. You know, hopefully over the next two days I can still scrub off about 2,000 calories total. You know, lose maybe another half a pound. The goal is to not, you know, gain weight at this point. The goal is to carb up but keep from putting you know fat on obviously because you've worked so hard to get it off all right so tomorrow morning going for my walk uh factored in another tim hortons treat that's sort of my thing i was thinking you know what let's make that walk to tim hortons a little bit more enjoyable i'm having more carbs now so i can have one treat at tim hortons in the morning when i walk there and just add that in as my carbs take something else out later on yeah it's not the cleanest but it's at the beginning of the day, you know, I burn it off pretty quick. It's one sort of not so good item. Tomorrow morning's gonna be a fritter. I love fritters. They're just one of my favorite donuts. And Tim Hortons right now has these blueberry thing going on. So they have a blueberry fritter. Oh, it's got like a blueberry filling in it. It's just awesome. That's tomorrow morning. I'm looking forward to it. A lot. <laughs> Simple things, you know. I'm going to be so excited to walk a mile and a half to Tim Hortons just so I can eat a blueberry fritter. And then on uh, Friday morning, I'm going to have a blueberry fruit explosion uh, muffin. They have these fruit explosion muffins which have fruit in them, but the blueberry one is blueberry filled. And man, another really nice Tim Hortons thing. So that's going to be my little treat on Friday morning. 
Um, Friday's going to be the big carb up day, so I can get away with a muffin in the morning. It's not a big deal. All right, so we're right on track. Everything's going really well. Just got to keep it together. Got to get some exercise in the next couple of days. Get some walking in, some posing in. Try and burn about 1,500 calories each day in exercise and try and stay in a bit of a calorie deficit. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow.